has been a relief to be honest with you about my past. I appreciate your willingness to listen. But talking about this, remembering all those years, has brought back some unsettling memories. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. I have told you that I spent many years coordinating with smugglers along the edges of the settled systems. There were men and women I worked alongside closely. And over time, I established relationships. They were not of the promised, but I considered them friends. It describes the people of House Varun, we who have been promised to serve the Great Serpent now and forever. In exchange, he promises to care for us when he returns to his domain. Yes, very. It, it was not what I was expecting. You must understand, I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter, for they are lost, their fate is fixed and grim. And yet here were these men and women with hopes and dreams, delights and aversions. It felt like a small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. And then I lost them. It was in ways I did not understand at the time. And so it has bothered me ever since. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet to transfer cargo. And zealots appeared in force seemingly out of nowhere there was barely time to react so many were cut down immediately i believe my years of training saved me got me moving when others faltered i retreated to my ship immediately but i left them all behind aaron bascom and jada wong they were my friends and i abandoned them and in the years since, I have never looked for them. I have no doubt they were resourceful. Still, how badly were their lives damaged by that moment? In my time getting to know you, I have thought more and more of all this. A little sense it all made, how I never really knew what happened or what became of my friends. My connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone. To be there for them. And I can no longer live with not knowing. I need to finally pursue this. I would like you with me when I do. I do not know what we will find, but I know it will be easier with you at my side. I am not sure I will find any comfort in it, but I think it is important nonetheless. I am not sure where they might be now, but I believe we should begin the search in Aquila City. That is where I last saw Aaron Bascom.
Glad to see you're back in one piece. I'm listening. Have something for... Bye for now. If there is something I can... What have you got for me? Some other time then.
by their owners for decorating their ships with heat leech nests would be a nice touch. I am not a star. There is a bit more in the back if you're not seeing something on display. Oh, please, take a look.
Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile.
while we scan you for contraband. All right, you're good. Welcome to Aquila City. Through a brief period where I thought it might be exciting to be a professional Ash the Hunter. A very, very brief period. Two hours out. You'll have a tech free? That's not a problem. And you're springing for the new reactor? It's still under manufacturer's warranty. Yes. Can I get an invoice? <laughs> what you need one of those for? Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? As long as it's written and signed, it could be on a loaf of bread. Need some work done? It's pretty dangerous out in space these days. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by? Okay, no problem. I'm sure you can find something. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Good guess. It's pretty much exactly right. You didn't hear this from me, but things aren't going great. The Marshal could probably use a hand. I know Akira City rather well. Perhaps better than I would like. Security around here is a You joke. planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, and not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. What <sighs> the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Mm. I wish I could say you were wrong, but I'm backed into a corner here. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. 
They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they've just stayed home. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Choose your words carefully. You do not want to make things worse. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. The Shaw King's making fools of us all. Seems we've got a little excitement on our hands. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. cooperate when we get what we want. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? I heard that. Okay, so let's talk. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Oh, hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a... Quick hit. Clean is simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Impressive. You succeeded where both the Marshal and the city security forces failed. They've got the Marshal by the balls. Those guys are scared. I can tell. What's the word? Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Ha! Well, you don't lack for confidence. Well, I bet you could sell dirt to a Dusty. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. 
As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. Well done. Well done, Shimmer indeed. Open. He is not here. I am disappointed, but relieved somehow? What? Someone got stabbed last night. Yes, but now I feel guilty for being relieved. Ugh. Why must this all be so complicated? Someone here must know more. We should inquire about him. Ah, uh, yes, Aggies. I have spent far too much time here. I do not recommend it. Ethan handles all the orders. You, you ain't here looking for Aaron. She is. Hello, Aggie. I was unsure whether you would remember me. It has been a long time. I ain't likely to forget you anytime soon. I heard you ain't deaf. She didn't ruin Aaron's life enough the first time, huh? Back for more? Ruined his life? How dare you? Did she tell you what she did to him? How she left him bleeding on some godforsaken rock in the middle of nowhere? Ha, forgive me if I don't take you at your word. Aaron sat in that corner for years, scared of his own shadow, convinced the damned zealots were coming back to finish the job. The few credits he had to rub together that didn't get spent on drink, he spent on setting himself up someplace where they couldn't find him. Wouldn't trust anyone that walked through the door. Only ever talked to me when he was drunk enough. If either of you cared, you wouldn't just be showing up now. Aaron ain't been in here for almost a year now. Showed up one day saying he'd gone and got himself set up on Hyla too, thanking me for letting him stay here so often. It was the closest I'd seen him to happy in I don't know how long. And that was it. Never came through the door again. Did he ever mention me? You mean, did he blame you? That's what you want to know. I know guilt when I see it. Don't try and deny it. Fine. Did he blame me? No. Believed you were one of the good ones, right up until the last time I talked to him. Me? <laughs> I don't think your kind has good ones. My kind? I know what you are. You take your holier-than-thou bullshit and your great serpent and shove them. You dare insult me like this when I have come to you asking for help. I should kill you where you stand. You are right. We should focus on finding him. Well, this has been so much fun. You see Aaron, you tell him I got a bottle of his favorite stashed away if he ever shows up again. But honestly, I'm hoping he doesn't. I had thought to check on Aaron sooner. Might not be the biggest selection in town, but our liquor gets the job done as well as any. I can guarantee you that. get that inventory done? I sure did. And you put in that order with Shepard? Yes, ma'am. We have something to go on, at least. 
I am grateful that you showed some compassion, despite that woman's attitude. I do not have your patience. While I got you here, I did want to say something. I ain't the best at expressing gratitude, but uh, it really means a lot. You giving me this chance. Thank you for that. Well, you've proved your worth, so I might even let you stick around a little while. As long as you don't go getting too mushy on me, that is. Not a chance. You are more diplomatic than I would be. <laughs> One more reason, I am glad to have you with me. I am eager to reach Hyla too, and speak to Eren. Perhaps there is something we can do to help him, provide him a sense of safety. Was there more? We will speak again. I am sure. Stay right up front. Take a gander. what or what iteration someone's on. That's wonderful to hear, and rare. Usually a Starborn's life is complicated and unpleasant. I fought to get to the Unity again once or twice, but after all the pain, suffering, and just mind-boggling effort, I was left wondering, why bother? So now I indulge my hiddenness side, and I must say, it's a lot more fun than the constant struggle. There's no one like me. Or you. Each Starborn is their own snowflake. But there are others who have decided the unity isn't worth fighting for. I believe we're in the minority. I forgot what I told you last time, to be honest. Did happen in another universe after all. Hmm? 
I wanted to let you know, however, that my interests are broader than debauchery. I also do business. I cater to Starborn, a very exclusive and specialized crowd. You can call me the trader. I sell a smattering of hard-to-come-by items, ridiculously marked up, because the Starborn should be able to afford it. If you are short of funds, I'll stay in the area. Plenty of diversions on my yacht. What a novel question. Make your own decisions, your own path. Almost all Starborn have their own terribly important agendas and may try to bend you to them. But really, you know that. Been there, done that. <laughs> I could, certainly, but if I did, I'd no longer be a neutral party. And in this game, it is far safer and more profitable to stay very, very neutral. Chin up. It means I won't whisper a word about you to anyone either. Ignore the price tag. You can afford it, or will in time. much longer. Is mining on the schedule today?
Landing site locked. Take us in. We should be on our guard here. If we could detect the camp from orbit, it means others could too. And I have no idea what fortifications he may have. When we arrive, would you let me speak to him first? I think that is important right now. Thank you. From what Aggie said, it sounds like he has been... Rather paranoid for years now. That too, I fear, is my fault. <sighs> Let us proceed slowly and carefully. I do not want to antagonize him.
I thought I saw something. I need to be sure. I don't know what to say. I thought there would be a chance to speak to him. To, to make amends. Or at least to hear him curse me for leaving him. I was prepared to accept that. I did not think I would find him like this. At least these vermin didn't get him. He's been gone for... Well, clearly it's been some time. Look around. There will be correspondence from Jada Wong, I am sure of it. This cannot all be for... for nothing. You found something. Please, let me see it. I should have guessed. Jada was always the one to run towards trouble. Of course she would still be doing it now. In her own way. Crazy might be a bit extreme, but I cannot entirely disagree. Jada was younger than some of the other smugglers we contracted. There was concern she would be unreliable. As time went on, we called on her more and more often, eventually relying on her almost exclusively. She was sharp, a skilled pilot and very, very determined. Always talking about her big plans for retirement. How she would live like a queen. I am not surprised that she would desire revenge. But to go this far, we need to find her. But before we go, I have discovered something else. And I do not know what to make of it. Eren was composing a reply to Jada, but never sent it. It reads as if he was expecting the Zealots to find him. That they knew where to look for him. His fears were well founded. If the Zealots did indeed come for him. What bothers me though is that he mentions a name he should not know. Tommy Sarkadik. Yes, I do. For all of my assignments in the Settled Systems, Tomisar has been my link to House Baroon. From him, I have received my orders, and he is the person to whom I have reported my success. He does not work with anyone outside House Baroon, and I am the only one who knows how and where to find him. Eren should never have heard of him. It is hardly that simple. We must first make sure that Jada is safe. And perhaps she will be able to shed light on this. Let us head for the den.
acknowledging incoming hail. Docking Bay 1 is free. think that's appropriate talk coming from a vanguard pilot that's exactly your problem you don't think if you weren't such a lousy reporter you wouldn't be stuck all the way out here i mean i guess maybe that's true but uh, if so you're just as stuck out here as i am so what does that say oh wow you really do want me to kick your ass don't you all right that's enough bastion go cool off Get a drink. Whatever. Fine. Holden, I appreciate that you... I understand this station was once quite the luxurious place for UC military commanders. Based on what I see, I find that very hard to believe. And they're not going to like it if you're making them look bad. Lieutenant Commander Marquez, I appreciate your concern, but I have an obligation to SSNN to report on what I see. I'm sure they do know that, Holden. I'm just saying, maybe use a little more discretion in your reporting. Maybe a lot. Don't worry. When the next big story breaks out here, I'll be sure to help you get the scoop, okay? I will think on that. Thank you. Haven't seen you around here before. Welcome to the den. Reyna Marquez. I head up the Vanguard station here. Good to see another Vanguard pilot. You assigned here, or just passing through? Right. Okay. Good. Was afraid I'd gotten another transfer without any warning. Nothing against you personally, of course. I'd just like to know who I'm responsible for before they show up on my doorstep. You need anything? Say the word. We're short on luxuries here, but for a fellow Vanguard, I'll do what I can to help. Wang? Really? There are at least three other pilots based out of here I'd expect to receive complaints about first. Before we get started, I have to inform you there's a formal review process for the Vanguard, so don't expect any action for a while, okay? Now, what is the nature of your complaint? Oh. Oh! Okay. Sorry. Force of habit, I suppose. Jada isn't here. Hasn't been here in a while. In fact, she's... Well, she's following up on some sensitive information. Um... Uh... I'm not sure I should disclose any more than that. It's not something I can just blurt out. I hear you. Maybe. Need to think about it. Yeah, I hope so. I'm still willing to talk. I suppose it's not the end of the world. Jada came in a bit ago, all fired up over some hot lead. She's been focused on zealots ever since she was assigned here, but this was a whole other level. She was headed out to Groombridge to track them down. Never seen her so fixated. And if you know Jada, that's saying something. If you're headed out that way, be careful. Wouldn't surprise me if she's getting into all kinds of trouble.
Might be counterintuitive, but no. No, we don't. It's pretty quiet, and some of us deal with that better than others. We get the occasional distress call. Sometimes Varun stirs up trouble, but there's a lot of downtime. I'm not complaining, but others, like Bastion there, it's not what he was expecting. Certainly not what he wanted. Oh, gosh, no. Vanguard wasn't even a thought back when this place was first built. The Den, the original Den, mind you, got blown up during the Serpent's Crusade. UC Navy immediately rebuilt a station, I think largely out of spite. Sometimes I think that's why they keep it operational, too. Certainly hasn't had much real purpose since the Colony War ended. I'm glad we have it as a post, and Marcel and the Trade Authority do some decent business, which I try very hard not to pay attention to. But the station has never recaptured that old glory. Don't think it ever will, really. The same thing we do everywhere else. Fill in the gaps for the UC Navy. Help keep the settled systems peaceful and safe. Sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge all the way out here, but we try our best. I wouldn't mind a little more support. Fly safe. Hello there. Welcome to the trade of... Our stock may not be as bad. And seeing as the... It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I hope... Certainly. Anything I can help you with?
if you're ever in New Atlantis. How may the I trade authority, word for by all means. I My messages to SSNN are getting through. Will we be taking... possibly show your face I am glad to see that you are safe Jada I am sorry if if this is difficult for you difficult are you serious right now you set us up killed my friends and then a decade later you show up like nothing happened have you lost your mind set you up I, 
I never... I was not behind that. It was zealots, you know that. We were all attacked. Don't bullshit me. Not now. And who the hell are you? Her backup dancer? Hey, I'm calm. You calm? Great. What are you doing here with her? You don't look like Varun to me. Worried? Worried she hadn't finished me off, maybe. I knew it was only a matter of time. What are you talking about? I have never acted against you. You know, for a while I told myself it was a coincidence that you disappeared once the shooting started. That you were long gone when the dust settled. <laughs> told myself, no, it couldn't possibly be her. Not after all those years we spent working together. We're friends. So I went after the Zealots. And then I found out the truth. Your damned High Council. They knew. Told the Zealots where to find us. That's not true. That cannot be true. Oh, it is. How? How do you know this? If you have proof, I need to see it right now. You don't get to demand anything of me, Andreja. I know what I've seen! I... I don't have... It doesn't work like that. I've put things together over the years. Slates, communications, interrogations. A name, Jada. Give me a name. You must have heard one by now. Thomasar! Thomasar Kadik! That's the bastard from the High Council who's been helping the Zealots! And did you hear this from Aaron? Aaron? What? No! I haven't talked to him in a year. What do you know about it? Jada, I swear on the serpent himself, I would never betray you. I need time to make this right. Can we go somewhere and talk? I am not giving up on this. I've tracked them this far, and I'm going to see this through. You want your proof? Well, they have it. That's him! That's the bastard responsible for the ambush! If you're not lying to me, then you better help me take him down! Otherwise, I'll just have to destroy you both! Get back to your ship! Say the word. I smile today in the knowledge that the Great Serpent has truly blessed my ship and my crew. Why else would I have delivered on the of our purge years ago? The awful that escaped our righteous justice. Pathetic high council. Betrayed the charge laid upon them by the great serpent. Gave you over to us. I... I do not understand. 
It cannot be possible that the High Council would betray us like that. He must have been lying. Zealots have interpreted the teachings of Jinan Varun in the most hostile way possible, and are convinced they are the only true followers of the Great Serpent. They have always been certain in their beliefs and actions. Does not make them correct. Something about this does, does not feel right. This message. The code at the bottom. I have seen this before. I know where we need to go. I must explain. House Barun values secrecy above nearly all else. Those of us sent out into the settled systems, we cannot return. Maybe not forever, but certainly until our mission has been accomplished. When we are assigned a mission, we are taken to a point outside of House Varun's domain. We do not jump ourselves. We are never given the coordinates for Varun Kai, our homeworld. We literally cannot return. Only a select few are ever trusted with that knowledge. I can never go home, unless I am permitted. Perhaps there is. I cannot travel to my home, but I can reach out another way. But it means putting you in danger in a way you have not been before. I cannot say for certain what will happen. Thank you. That means a great deal. There is an old derelict star station where I may get answers. I know that seems... vague. It will become clear when we arrive. say again, there is danger for you here, likely for us both. I need you to trust me. These stations were built by the United Colonies during the Serpent's Crusade. They were abandoned when peace was brokered. They are an excellent place to hide in plain sight.
I am not the one who needs to explain himself, Tommy Sar. I am surprised by your tone. It has gotten into you. This is very unlike you. Almost. It's infinite. I know what you have done. The messages you sent. You are not making any sense. Of course I sent you messages. That is how this works. That is how it has always worked. Not to me! To the zealots! To the fanatics who murdered my friends, who tried to murder me! You must be mistaken, or perhaps confused. Nothing like that has ever happened. Enough! I have the transcripts, Tommy Star. You did this. You told them where to find us. Now, let's just take a moment. No one wants to make accusations they might regret. You. You are from that constellation group. I've heard all about you. You have turned her against me, filled her head with lies. This will not be allowed to stand. Insolence! You have corrupted her! I said enough! This is between you and me. This has gone far enough. Talk some sense into her at once. Neither of you would dare lift a finger against me. Against House Varun. But I am. If you let Andrija hurt me, I am her only link to the High Council. To House Varun. Without me, she can never return home. You must make her listen to reason. He is responsible. He deserves to die. Did you not hear me? You do this, you lose everything! I heard you. I know what it costs me. But... He deserves it. Does he not? I have been betrayed! Why should I care anymore? The only thing keeping him alive right now is... I know that if I do this... I lose my home. Probably forever. I do not... I do not know what to do. I want to so badly. I do not know how to live with this. Consider yourself fortunate. You get to live. This... this is not over. The High Council will hear of your treason. Perhaps they will hear of your actions as well, Tommy Sar. Think of that. Come. Let us leave this place. To return to the lodge. You will regret this!
You are a welcome diversion. I am always willing to carry an extra weapon. Or two. Or three. How can I assist? I am happy to... Look after yourself, hmm?
I think I prefer the wild planets to this city. At least there, the predators are easier to spot. Again, who do you think will be the first to ask us questions? Mateo or Noel? Something important, or just conversation? Thank you for coming back here with me. I fear that... After all that has happened, I am unsure of my place in House Barun. This room... May now be the only place I have left to call home. Yes. <laughs> I know that I am not completely alone. And that offers some comfort, but it is more complicated than that. I worry that I have made a mistake. What if Tommy Sar betrays me to the High Council? What if he turns House Varun against me, and I am cut off from them forever? It might not be enough. I may have miscalculated. I do not know how to live without some connection to House Barun. The Great Serpent has always been a guiding force in my life. The force that drives all that I do. What... What if I have lost that? Yes, that is true. Whatever else has happened or will happen, the Great Serpent still holds a purpose for me. You have been by my side through all of this, the most turbulent time in my life. And you have supported me, faithfully. I have never been able to count on any single person the way I have with you. If I am repeating myself, you will have to forgive me, I just... I cannot overstate what it means to me. Uh, well, that is... I am sorry, I need a moment. <laughs> I admit this is a surprise. I did not quite realize you felt this way about me. But... If you mean it... My feelings are not so different from yours. We must be clear on one thing from the very beginning. I do not share. If you are mine, then you are mine alone. No one else will come between us. If that is not a commitment you are willing to make, I understand, but I will not compromise. Oh, I am quite certain. Do not doubt my intent. Then truly nothing can stop us. We will be a force to be reckoned with. You have brought a joy to my life that I could not have imagined, and could never have expected. With you at my side, love, I look forward to everything that comes next.